My name is Eddie Borges Ray, and uh, I'm a lecturer in journalism studies at the University of Stirling, Scotland. The rationale behind what I'm going to present today uh, is basically uh, some sort of a mixed match, uh, some sort of uh, disjointment between two ideas: the open data agenda, which has been, as you know, quite advanced um, in uh, by governments and, and other different uh, public bodies. Um, and uh, also the idea of citizen um, uh, data literacy, which um, I have seen that is not as developed as the idea of open data. So what happens is, you know, is this, this, this idea that openness and transparency will allow citizens to delve into data, um, but that is not really happening because the people who have not the, the tools, not the knowledge um, to do that. So that's what I'm going to present today, and I see data journalism as a potential uh, tool to help people to increase their levels of data literacy. <coughs> I conducted uh, quite extensive uh, research on the state of current affairs of data journalism in the UK. Mm -hmm. So I was able to interview different data journalists working in Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, and also in, in England and London. Uh, you can imagine, well, The Guardian, Financial Times, uh, BBC, all these people. Um, uh, so after that, I started to become increasingly um, uh, concerned about issues of data literacy. So I'm currently starting to move towards that that um, space, that sphere, uh, because you know there's this idea of yes, open data or data is there for people, but people they don't really engage with that because they don't have the tools, they don't have the understanding. It's still quite limited. Um, to a, a quite small amount of of the population, perhaps civic activists or you know uh, academics or you know people that perhaps know what a Freedom of Information Act request is. Mm -hmm. um, it was basically uh, conduct um, a series of interviews on a specific case that I f mm -hmm. found interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, this is a project by a uh, UK publication, British publication called um, um, Daily um, Mirror. And they generated this interesting project on data journalism called AMPT. So uh, basically, uh, as you might perhaps know, um, tabloid journalism in the UK has certain par particularities. Uh, these are quite this type of journalism which is really driven by popular culture, by celebrities, by sports, and is basically what drives larger circulation um, in la the largest circulation in, in the UK. So basically, these guys, what they did was apply the th principles of tabloid journalism to data journalism, which is some sort of, you know, a dichotomy, because, you know, you're having the accuracy, the sense of accuracy of data journalism, but at the same time, uh, addressing issues such as sports, celebrities, and things like that. So I think that it's a really interesting way of of, of you know attracting audiences who otherwise wouldn't be interested in in, uh, in data journalism uh, to kind of explore and to learn how to do you know cross translation or or data data extrapolation or or things like that. So, you know, there's there's there potential. Um, um, there, it's obviously they're not going to teach people to do kind of instrumental processing or analysis or or cleaning of data and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, introduces some certain elementary notions of what I call data awareness, is, you know, people started to think about data more critically rather than, you know, at least, you know, planting that seed on, on people, you know, curiosity and, and, and for them just to, to start uh, just thinking about this and the idea of, well, all these databases, all these data sets are here available for me to do, you know, to kind of hold accountable uh, governments and hold accountable, you know, uh, public um, civic, civic servants and things like that. Um, so the idea is basically that um, this is done by someone who, well, has found a really interesting way of doing it. Well, I think it's developing pretty much uh, in line with uh, other countries that have been more advanced, uh, like United States or cer certain Scandinavian countries that have you know, a larger tradition in, in, in data journalism. Um, but um, it's starting to diversify into, into well, well, you know, that's what I think. It's starting to diversify into three different types of data journalism. One is, um, let's say, the type of journalism that the, the Guardian's data blog would do, which is kind of daily, tur quick turnaround, quite brief forms of, of data journalism, the quite, quite shareable ones as well. 
then you have a certain data units working into more into larger projects they need to sp spend invest more time uh, to produce you know uh, probably things that you don't normally will tag as data journalism you know probably long form investigative journalism that has a little bit of data added to it uh, added to it and then there's what I what I what I um, want to discuss today, which is a kind of more light edu editorialized, uh, a little bit gamified, uh, a little bit actually humorous form of data journalism, which I think uh, has a really interesting appeal to people and and you know, kind of sells the whole idea of data journalism to a working class, um, uh, you know, uh, audience. <laughs> 